Okay, so project update, got 100 and about 160 pounds on the bob of the uh, tilt table. Have the uh, PMA installed, it's an F&P. Uh, we were playing around with gear trains, we had it at 6 to 1, uh, or 1 to 6, and it was, uh, the gear train was sucking up too much energy. Switched it down to a 5 to 1, it's performing better. I think we're going to switch it to a 4 uh, to 1, or possibly even a... A, uh, uh, a one to three. Eh, anyways, we'll have to cut some more gears and play around with it. Uh, it's a little hard to get going at this stage, but we'll give it a shot. Let's see. Here. This is just manual operation. Oh, we've decided to, uh, instead of uh, continuing with the, uh, the big power solenoids with the very expensive, dangerous magnets, we're going to... Uh, fabricate a, a grandfather clock configuration because essentially this is just a pendulum at this point and uh, we'll use a McDowell uh, escapement configuration with some sort of gear train I'm not really sure but if there's a problem we'll uh, just add more weights to the uh, you know the, the weights on the uh, on the grandfather clock uh, drive so let's see if we can get this going Ooh. So the limit on the uh, PMA board is uh, 90 volts, so uh, we're going to switch it down to a 1-4 uh, uh, to four gear train, and that'll uh, protect all our charging somebody on a swing maybe. And there you go. Anyway, so we'll uh we'll be working on the uh grandfather escapement and um, you know figuring out what the right weight on the bob should be and uh definitely reduce the gear train Right now it's 1 to 5. Yeah, we'll, we'll swap it down to 1 to 4. And uh, that'll help save the uh, charging electronics. Anyway, so the, uh, you know, the uh, we're, we'll just make a separate grandfather clock configuration with its own pendulum, link the pendulums together, and then it will be driven by a, a McDowell escapement on the uh, other pendulum. And... <laughs> Exciting stuff to look at. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Enjoy the day. Cheers.